Inside SUNY Oswego School of Business, the last two years, coffee has been hard to come by. All that changed this week. What was once known as the Wall Street Market is now rich and poor cafe and lounge. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I know this place was really big, especially pre-pandemic, so before I even came here. I'm really glad to see that it's backing up and running, especially with students running it. I know it's just for a good cause, so it's really awesome. The cause, helping students prepare for life in the real world. Business majors run the whole operation, and so far, it's a hit. I really love Rich and Poor. I walked all the way over here from West Campus. The coffee is better than the Starbucks, honestly. <laughs> And I'm a Starbucks girl, so. Working here has been really enjoyable so far. You know, it's a pretty easy going job, but you also, you know, to see the joy in the customers and to see everything we put together was, was really cool to see. Ed Alberts was chosen to be the executive mentor for the Rich and Poor Project and has helped the students since day one. He currently operates over 10 businesses, including a coffee shop in downtown Oswego. When he was asked to be the mentor. It was a pretty easy decision. They were enthusiastic from day one. Start up of any project like this is not always easy. And I think there were some doubts along the way of, of if it could be done in one semester. They forged on and worked hard. They were enthusiastic and took care of everything. We talk about a business, human resources and finance, marketing. They took care of the operations side of it. They really dug in and have presented just a great, great project. Very, very proud of this group of students. So after two years, Rich and Poor Cafe and Lounge is now open, created by students, ran by students, and served to the students. That is some good coffee. Zach Nusi, Oswego Now.